Hi there, it's Jacqueline from Homeworks Etc. Today's DIY project is gonna be painting on this canvas pillow cover. Uh, we have a fun personalized stencil here that uh, we've got uh, made out of vinyl and then we also have this canvas pillow which is super durable and firm and it's just a really nice pillow fabric to work on to paint. Uh, today's paint we use is Fusion Mineral Paint. Uh, of course, it is a water-based paint and it is a paint that we carry in the store and we use it all of our DIY kits. Uh, today's project, we're gonna use Azure, which is this beautiful tealy bright color and coal black. So I'm gonna show you how far this paint really goes. So we've got these small little samplers in store, which are one and a quarter ounces, um, but we've got these little half ounce samplers uh, for our DIY kits that I'm using just to show you that uh, you don't need a lot of paint. So the first step before we get started is just making sure that uh, your zipper is at the bottom so that your zipper doesn't show when it's on your couch or your bed uh, or your chair. I'm gonna make sure that the vinyl adhesive is, I'm just gonna rub it with my fingers just to make sure all the center details. So if we could just have a look at this decal here, the details of all the centers, we wanna make sure adhere to the front side of your vinyl so that when we peel the backing off, they don't run away on us. We want it to stay one piece. So I'm just rubbing lightly. You don't need to use a credit card or anything abrasive because that actually can warp your vinyl. So that's about it. I'm gonna flip it over and I'm gonna just peel the backing off, leaving the vinyl on the table side. And the reason why we have to be so careful is that this vinyl is a one-time use only, so we don't want it to stick to anything. I'm just gonna put my extra material on the floor just to keep my table space clear. Uh, and then I'm gonna just flip it over, which you don't have to worry about being straight. Um, this is a good time for those of you who are perfectionists to grab your tape measure, but I'm not gonna worry about it. Again, you can see I'm lifting and pulling away from the fabric until it is in position. So you might wanna stand up just to make sure that it is straight. to me that looks great i'm just going to make sure that it is in position now i'm going to rub it again just to make sure that the vinyl now adheres to your pillow so now i'm just going to peel this vinyl transfer tape off and as you can see it's coming off really well this heart is a really easy shape and it might pull away a little bit, but that's okay. So that's great. I'm actually gonna peel this off now and I'm gonna use it to cover the outside of the stencil so it protects my fabric because there's a chance that paint can go over the edge and we don't want that to happen. So again, I'm just gonna take one side. I'm actually just gonna peel one name off at a time and I'm just ripping the transfer tape and using my fingers just to make sure that all the details of this lettering stay on the fabric. And I'm gonna, again, reuse this to cover my fabric. Now that the stencil is adhered to the pillow cover, now we're gonna start painting. The trick with painting on pillows is just to make sure that you don't have too much paint so it doesn't seep underneath onto the fabric. So you want really crisp lines. Um, I'm gonna use, actually I'm not gonna use the plate, I'm gonna just use a paper towel and I am going to apply paint on my brush and wipe all the excess off and then I'm gonna offload onto this paper towel just so that you can see that there's absolutely no drip marks and I'm just gonna start on the inside and work my way out. So you can see that it's really, really light and you don't want a heavy coat at all. We're gonna do a couple of coats of this. And again, I was saying that there's only a half an ounce in this little jar and I've hardly made a dent. So it's kind of fun to play with colors 
And again, on that first coat, you're gonna see the weave of the natural fibers. And that's what we want, so that we just get a nice base color. All right, so now I'm gonna go in with the black for the lettering. And again, I'm just gonna use a little bit, offload a bit on that paper towel. And now, especially with the lettering, I'm just gonna stipple up and down just to make sure it's a super light coat. And I don't want any of those centers of the vinyl to lift either. So I want them to stay on the fabric and this will make sure that that happens. In a vinyl stencil that has a lot of detail, you really wanna be mindful of that, especially script lettering. So on this, again, I'm just gonna stipple. You can go left to right, but you want hardly any paint there you go. So that is my first coat on that. Make sure that your paint is completely dry to the touch before you add a second coat. So what you wanna be mindful for is you'll notice that my paintbrushes are off to the side, so I don't want my paintbrushes to accidentally land on the fabric, which can easily happen. So while you're waiting, make sure your brushes are not in the way and uh, again, make sure that your fabric is completely dry to the touch so that um, you can add a second coat. So you can see the difference that two coats makes on the heart and I've done the first two names. And again, I'm just adding my second coat. It really fills in the void so you don't see that fabric color underneath. And again, you don't wanna to add too much paint. I'm just gonna let this dry and then we'll do our reveal. So a couple of quick tips for painting your fabric. Tip number one, do not use too much paint. You don't wanna oversaturate your fabric. You don't want the paint going through the fabric and you don't want it seeping underneath your stencil. Tip number two, do not fast track your paint drying with a blow dryer because that will actually activate the adhesive in the blow dryer or in the vinyl and start peeling it away from your fabric, which you don't want that to happen. So the paint is dry to the touch. It's not coming off on my fingers and it is ready to go. So here, oops. Love it, so much fun. Look at that. So all of the centers that are in left on your fabric, you just put your hand inside the fabric and pull those little centers off. So here's our final project. I hope you enjoyed our DIY pillow project. If you're interested in learning more about our DIY kits, head to homeworksetc.ca. And if you have any comments, feel free to leave those below. And to watch more DIY tutorials, feel free to follow us uh, on our YouTube channel by subscribing to get notifications for our next DIY.